So the ones that Everly is collecting over there, we're gonna be using for our dandelion honey. And <laughs> the ones I'm gonna lay out here, I'm gonna lay them down, um, face down, to dry out. And I'm gonna be saving these for some medicinal remedies in the future. So I'm just gonna lay a whole bunch out here to dry. Also, you guys wanna make sure that you save some of these for the bees. Like, obviously there's a ton but this is the first source of food for bees usually, so definitely save some for them. And also make sure that you're not taking any from an area that's been sprayed heavily with chemicals or you know, that maybe your dog's been peeing in that area or anything like that. Just make sure you're getting them from a nice clean area. Step number two, you just want to separate all of the flower petals from the green stems. So I'm just going to do that with a knife. And then we're just gonna let that sit for like a few hours. For 10 minutes and then we're going to <laughs> and then we're gonna let it sit after we boil it so I'm gonna add probably four little orange slices So the first thing you're gonna wanna do when you're making this dandelion honey is go ahead and wash your dandelion greens really good in some warm water and then strain them out. Uh, I did it a couple different times. And then you're gonna want to cut all of the flower petals off of the dandelion, like the green part, cause the green part's a little bit bitter. And then you're gonna wanna put them in your pot of water. I used about 10 cups of water. And then I added a couple of um, oranges as well to that just for a little bit of extra flavor. And I boiled it down for about 10 minutes and now it's sitting here. I'm gonna let it sit for about an hour. You can let it sit overnight too if you want. And then I'm gonna add, um, well then I'm gonna strain all of the petals and stuff out uh, through a cloth and just so it's like a tea. And if you want dandelion tea, you can stop there. If you want to make the honey, um, you add 
your sugar and pectin and you boil it down some more and I will show you the rest of that process as we go. But yeah, I just wanted to kind of explain that to you guys. Right now it just got done boiling and it is sitting here um, seeping and seeping together and it already smells good. Okay guys, so I've let this boil now for about three hours in the pot. You can let it boil for longer if you want. But I'm just gonna take it and put it in these little mason jars and you're gonna wanna make sure that you sterilize the mason jars before you put it in there because um, if you don't, bacteria and stuff can grow in it. And then I'm going to pour the dandelion honey in there hot and then just use these put the lid on and then use these and flip it over and it's gonna create a seal um so ah okay so it's gonna create a seal on it whenever you flip it over and you just leave it there and don't touch it for like 24 hours and it should create a good seal I know this is kind of a technique that isn't used anymore in canning because um it's considered unsafe, so I wouldn't recommend everyone do it this way. Uh, you could just water bath can it if you have a water bath can it, or you can pressure can it, or you can just stick it in the fridge and use it up right away, which is probably what I'm going to do, but I did want to just put a seal on it as well. So that's what we're going to do now. So I'm just going to use a ladle to put the hot liquid in here. Okay, so now I'm just going to put my lids on them. And then I'm going to flip them upside down. We're just going to let them cool right here, upside down. <laughs> 